When it comes to DIY Christmas decorations, mini trees can't be beat. They're super easy to make, super quick, and I'll show you how to make one for under $10. We'll start with a tomato cage. These are 33 inches tall, and I paid about $2.38 US for them at Lowe's. Remove the tag. Good enough. Next, one zip tie. Thread it into itself and get it started. Okay. Gather up your legs and hold them about an inch and a half below the end. Take your zip tie, put it over your legs. Zip it together. Okay. I'm gonna cut off the tail but you don't have to. Next, we'll take a second zip tie, and this time we're gonna go vertically. We're gonna go in through here and up between the ends of the legs. We're gonna lock our zip tie in this way. Try to get this one as tight as you can. This one helps keep the center point from sliding up and down and that's critical because that's what controls the tension of the lights after you wrap it. Again I'm going to cut off the tail but you don't have to if you don't want to. Next we'll take a string of 100 count mini lights. Doesn't matter if you're using incandescent or if you're using LEDs. These are LEDs. You just need them to be about 100 in the string. Take the female end, run it between the legs, bring it around, kind of jam it in there and lock it into place. Run your lights down one leg. I like to turn it over, work this way. Now we're going to take our string with our lights on. This side of the leg will come up through the hole on the opposite side. Go around the leg itself, back down through the opposite hole, back up, out the bottom. Now, wind our lights. We'll go three wraps one, two, three. Flip it over, go back to the top. Come between the spikes, back down leg number two, and we're going to repeat the process. This side, under, around and over, back under, out, one, two, three, back up to the top, through the spikes again, back down to leg number three. Repeat the process. Back up to the top again. Through the spikes. And now this time we're going to look to see where we have the biggest gap. And it looks like about right there. So we'll come up in between the two previous runs. We'll take the remaining lights. This time we'll come around the outside of it, through the hole, around, back inside like we've been doing, 
But you can see I still have three lights that are left because of the size of this string and the size of the tomato cage I'm using. So I'll bring it back up. And it looks like, looks like I'm locking in on this second ring here. Go inside that way, around. I'm gonna come diagonal over this one, back up and around, and then back out. That's it, we're done.